Hello everyone, Powdered here. Today we're on track day R and um, this game is getting really good. I mean, the whips are getting better. There's a couple new features. I mean, one we could like bunny hop now, as you can see, that just like boosted me. And look at, look at the whips. You could bring them back so perfectly now. You could just toss them. That was more of a scrub. And I don't know, this game's feeling really good. This is a modded bike, by the way. This is the only mod I have right now, though. So, uh, everything else is unmodded. We're gonna run a couple of laps. Maybe go for a hot lap? I'm not sure. Probably not, though, because I kind of suck at this game. But yeah, anyways, we're actually just gonna run, like, two laps on this. And then we're gonna hop onto a different track. I was gonna play a modded track, but I can't seem to get it to work. Anyways, look at that. We can bunny up now. Kind of hard to do it flat because, you know, it's a 450 that I'm riding. Well, it's technically a... No, it's 250, but it's counted as a 450 in-game. Kind of got it to work there. It's definitely a bit weird to, to get it sometimes. And we also have impacts now. So you can't just, like, take massive falls from every jump. I don't know. A lot has changed, though, from the last time I played this game. So, yeah, you know... Most of you guys, I'm assuming, aren't really up to date because everyone's kind of just been on MX bikes and they're not hopping off for the most part. And I understand why, you know, MX bikes definitely is really good, especially for racing right now because it's the only game where you can race like that. But I don't know, man. Track they are. The amount of potential it has is crazy. And they actually listen to their community. And the main, main thing that catches my attention is um, they actually update their game, you know? Not only that, it's the cheapest cheapest sim game right now so um i'd say for the price we're getting it at definitely worth it maybe not now for those of you that uh complain about everything but don't try fixing it but i mean this game's literally improving every single day now i'm currently on the dev build so some features i have you guys won't have like the bunny hopping is something they're working on still or maybe they finished it but they're definitely going to release it at some point so uh you guys will have that too and also for those of you that don't really like track they are let me know why you guys think that in the comments but be specific about it and i'll let them know in the discord and uh no we can we can make improvements to the game you gotta realize this game listens to their community literally like the way the game is right now it's mainly because of the community well not like literally because you know the game devs and all of that they're the ones that actually make everything but most of the features are there because of the community so just let me know or let them know what's wrong and we can we can fix it because um beautiful team gotta say big thank you to the track dr team especially for letting me have the dev build i feel pretty privileged to have the dev build right now and i've been playing this game a lot recently i'm not sure how much though i just remember uh the first video i recorded i had eight hours in the game and i'm currently at 37.9 hours so yeah i'll definitely record a progression video on it at like 50 hours maybe kind of wish i did one at 10 hours and you know how i did with the mech spikes but it's whatever it's better better late than never if you get what i mean okay yeah we're, we're gonna hop onto a new track anyways the first track i was playing was called merino valley in game and this one is called hell of sand i don't think i've ever played this track so gameplay is definitely gonna be a bit rough because i don't know the layout at all we're just gonna try to flow with it and i think this is one of the more recent tracks that has been added to the game yeah let's see what we can do here definitely a bit rough not in a bad way i'm like i like the texturing i've always kind of loved the more rough tracks in motocross games it makes it feel more difficult and of course more realistic too which is always a good thing especially for this game because that's the main point of the game they're supposed to get it as close to real life as possible but so just know that at one point this game will definitely be really good and yeah anyways uh let's hope this isn't a really long track because um i've never been a fan of those tracks that are like three minutes long for one lap if you get what i mean on average uh just act like you, i don't know go with it go with it. okay this is I don't know how to hit that section. I'll probably have to like bunny hop and then kind of just double it or just hit it as rollers like I already did. But uh, bunny hopping and doubling it sounds cooler. Okay, this, is, this track's actually pretty, pretty rough. It might count as a lap cut. Yep, it's all good. <laughs> oh, actually, one thing they did change is the get up times i'm pretty sure like you saw how fast i was able to pick up the bike and get on it originally when i like first played this game it was not like that at all it was around an eight second animation now it's uh, chopped it down by a lot actually i think eight seconds is a bit over exaggerated it just act like you get what i mean though let's see if i can get a 
good lap now. Even though I'm already kind of running it a bit rough. Oh. Okay. That was definitely rough. We'll play in first person, actually. I don't think first person has been worked on at all. But it doesn't really matter because uh, third person is the most played in this game. And, you know, perspective is not the main focus right now. It's all about gameplay. And as you can see, first person actually does look pretty good. It's just a bit bit shaky. And that's also because uh, I changed my settings in the config. So it definitely messed with the shakiness a bit. Okay, yeah, we got another lap cut. <laughs> It's all good. Yeah, I suck in first person. I'm gonna go back to third. I still don't know how to corner, like, fastest. I don't think leaning in this game matters in corners. Which it might matter in the future, but as of right now, it doesn't make a difference. Or at least it feels that way. You just downshift and you'll be able to hit any corner. As long as you downshift after you start turning. Okay, let's try to triple that. We almost got it i mean we technically did get it we just cased it yeah definitely not the best gameplay but uh just wanted to put this video out there just so you guys know where track they are is right now anyways uh yeah that is the end of the video thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one